Hi everybody, I'm Emily. It's nice to meet you all. Today we're going to be making your own gizmo. So for anybody that's been playing My Dear quite a bit, or even if you just got started, the gizmo is where we track our heart rate. So it is the little thing at the bottom that has the heart in it, and it has a red, a gray, and a blue area, and it helps us to know where our heart rate is. So today we're going to be making our own. There's going to be two options. There's either going to be a worksheet option if you're not feeling ready to draw your own, um, or we're going to draw one together today. So the worksheet's going to be linked um, to this video as well as on the website. And if you are drawing your own with us today, all you're going to need is a piece of paper, whatever color you like. I only have white. Um, some markers, some crayons, some colored pencils, something that is nice and colorful. And that's about it. So we're going to get started. I am going to draw one myself first, and then I'm going to share my screen so that you can see the worksheet as well when we're talking about the next step. But for anybody that knows me, I get very excited drawing, and it's okay if my drawings aren't perfect. So if yours is looking a little wonky or a little circle isn't perfect, that's totally okay. I'm probably going to be right there with you, so we're going to try this out together. So I'm going to move my screen down, and we're going to draw this together. So when we're thinking about the gizmo, there's a few things we need to think about. We need to think about the fact that there's three zones, right? And we need to think about that there's a heart in the middle, where it also shows our skills if we pause, um, pause and take a break. So a couple of things. So I'm going to start and I have my example next to me, but you can draw along with me. So if you have your paper, we're going to start with a circle because that's where the heart lives on the gizmo. And so you can look at your mightier tablet and take a look. You can look at, you know, a picture online. You can look at the worksheet or you can follow along with me. So I'm going to try to draw upside down. So like I said, it can get a little bit wonky sometimes. So we're going to draw one circle and then what goes inside is the heart, right? So what we're doing on the gizmo for my dear is tracking our heartbeat and how fast our heart is beating. When our heart beats really fast, that means we're in the red, right? When our heart's beating slow or calm, it means that, you know, our heartbeat's moving slowly. And so on this circle, so this is kind of where we start, right? And this is where the skill comes out if we choose to pause and if we have the lava links come out. But what we're going to do here is we're going to draw another circle. On our gizmo, there's like a little outline that helps us to just see and make it really, really defined. And so it's kind of like a little like frame for it. So we're going to frame it up and draw a circle like that. And then we have the zones, right? So there's a couple of things here and I'm moving my screen so I can copy, copy it well for you guys. So what we see on this side is we have like a little outline. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm outlining in black. You can outline in any color that you want. I'm gonna kind of do it like that. So that's kind of our zones, right? And we know that again, there's like a little bit of a frame. So we're gonna draw some curved lines like this. And it's okay if you need to pause. So if the cool thing about this video and the fact that it's on YouTube is that you can pause at any time. So if you need to pause, take a break, please do that so that you can catch up. No worries. And then there's our three zones, right? So there's our red, there's our gray, or sorry, there's our blue, there's our gray, and there's our red. I'm looking at it upside down on the screen. <laughs> um, and then there's this little tiny sliver up here that kind of looks like, like almost like little pipes, right? Sometimes when we were redesigning this way back in the day, we kind of wanted it to look like a little machine, right? It's a machine that reads our heart rate. It has some pipes and some wires. So it's working really, really hard to tell what, how fast our heart is beating. So that's about it. That's about it for the outline, right? So the really cool thing about the gizmo, ours is kind of, it's not boring colors, but it's not bright and colorful. You can color it whatever colors you would like. And if you're onto the worksheet, I'm going to share my screen here so that you guys can see what the worksheet looks like. So this is the worksheet. And so if you are following along in the worksheet, you're caught up, right? You have this drawing of the gizmo right here and we're gonna color it in together. So for me, I'm going to, I'm gonna go back to mine. If you're working on the worksheet, you can color on here. I'm gonna do mine, um, the original colors. So some kids, when they do this, they are drawing with bright colors. They're drawing, you know, sparkles. They're putting stickers on it. Do whatever you really like. This is your gizmo, right? That's why you're making your own. 
But I'm gonna follow the normal example of what it looks like in my deer. So I'm gonna color the red as our first part. So again, the red is when our heart rate is beating really quickly, right? Something that we notice about our bodies. Our heart rate's racing. It can mean that we're worried. It can mean that we're frustrated. It can mean that we're really angry. This gray, which some people say is dark blue. Some people say is gray. I draw it gray so it's clear that it's a different color. The gray is when our heart rate starts to increase, right? So it can, when we, it can be when we start to have a tough time. And then our blue, this is a very bright blue marker, is when our body's feeling calm, when our heartbeat is moving really, really slowly. And so for me, like I said, I'm gonna kind of keep it the original colors. I don't have the exact same markers, right? Or the same colors that we use in the Mightier Games. I'm actually gonna use crayons for this piece because I love crayons. And so I'm just gonna color my heart whatever color I want. Today my heart's gonna be pink, someday it might be teal. For you it might be gold or sparkly or full of stickers. Some people might even put a smiley face as their heart. And then I'm gonna color this middle part gray, a light gray, so different gray than the other one, just so it looks nice and calming. So the cool thing about this gizmo, and I'm gonna show you after, is that it's really just for us, right? So some kids decide to put this gizmo in their fridge or on their fridge so that they can check in every single morning about how they're, what zone they're in. Some kids decide that they're gonna carry this gizmo around. They're gonna carry it around the house. They're gonna share what they're feeling. Um, they're gonna kind of like look at it and it can remind them to use some mightier skills when they're having a tough time. Other kids, you know, just use it as a time to think about our own gizmo and what it might look like. Whatever you decide to do is completely fine and up to you. We're excited that you're here and drawing with us today. So again, if you're on the worksheet, feel free to keep coloring, make it look beautiful, and then we're gonna move on to our next step. The one part that's gonna be different, if you are making your own gizmo with me today, and what I mean by that is if you are drawing today, oops, colored out of the lines, it's okay. We are flexible thinkers here, right? Um, if you are drawing in one yourself, I am going to have us do a tiny bit of an extra step, um, which might be fun for at home, um, especially if you're looking to track throughout the day what you're feeling. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of scrap paper that I have over here, tiny scrap paper, and I'm going to draw the arrow as to where in the zones we are. So I'm gonna share this again. If you're looking at this, do you see this little arrow? This is the arrow that points to what zone we're in on the gizmo, right? So I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna draw one myself. I'm gonna cut it out. Oop, that is not looking as good as I wanted it to. But again, we're thinking nice and flexibly. We are flexible thinkers here at my dear. I'll just make the outline bigger. Awesome. I'm gonna cut it out. And it's gonna be something that I can measure my day. So a couple of different things here. And kids do a few different things. I have my scissors. So I'm gonna bring it up here so you guys can see. I'm gonna cut this out. You can choose to cut your whole gizmo out. You can choose to just lay it on top of there. Some kids, they cut out their whole gizmo and then they attach this with a paper clip so that they're able to move it throughout the day. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave it on the piece of paper because we're gonna do some thinking and some writing. And so once your gizmo is complete, you know, take a pause, take your time, make sure it's looking how you want it to look. I want to make sure that you guys feel excited about it and that it's something that's personalized for you. I would even add some kids when we've done this have added like stickers and glitter and like written things on it. So it's looked really, really awesome. Mine kind of looks like the normal gizmo in my ear. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. And what we're going to do, and I'm going to share my screen back to the worksheet that you can work off of is we're going to look at what our body looks like and what our body feels like in the different zones of the gizmo. So right, I'm gonna write this at the top and I am gonna turn it around for this part, my friends, because I have a hard time writing upside down. The important part of learning about our gizmo is what do the different zones look and feel like to us, right? So I wrote on mine, body looks and feels like. 
So I want us to think and take a thinking minute and you can talk to, you can think about it yourself. You can talk about it with a parent. You can talk about it with a pet or a sibling or a grandma or a grandpa. You, I want you to take a thinking minute about what diff the different zones look and feel like for you in your body. So I'm gonna give a few examples that kids have given me. So, and there's three different lines on the worksheet. So I'll give you one more second to look at the worksheet and then I'm gonna switch over to my camera. So you're gonna write things that your body looks and feels like and you're gonna take a thinking minute. You can even pause it here. And you're gonna say, what does my body look and feel like? So I'm gonna start in the blue, that's where my arrow is. What does my body look and feel like in the blue? A lot of kids will say, my body, turn it around guys, sorry. My body feels calm, my body feels happy. Um, some kids say that they feel like chill or cool, right? So those are some things. Take a thinking minute about what this looks and feels like for you. You also could write situations that make you feel in the blue. So some kids might write, I feel in the blue when my body, when I get to use a skill. My, I feel in the blue when I get to hang out with my dog. I get to feel, I like to feel in the blue you know, when I'm reading before I go to bed. I'm gonna skip the gray because that's sometimes the hardest. And then we're gonna think about the in-between. Now we're gonna go up to the red. Take a thinking minute, tell an adult, tell a sibling, tell a pet, tell a grandma or grandpa, and think, what does my body look and feel like when it's in the red? When I'm playing my dear, when all the lobblings come out, what does my body look and feel like? What do I notice? So I'm gonna write what I notice and then share. I'm gonna say my body can sometimes feel angry, frustrated, worried, overexcited. So those are all the different things. I've heard a lot of different things though. And you can also think, think, think a minute about what situations make you feel like in the red, right? So you can think, gosh, when my brother comes over to me and takes the toy I'm playing with, I feel in the red. Or when somebody cuts me in line, I feel in the red, right? So take a thinking minute about how our body looks and feels, but also about what situations can make us feel that way. Then we're gonna go to the gray. And sometimes kids have a tricky time with the gray because the gray is in the middle, right? The gray is, I'm not feeling cool and chill and happy, but I'm also not feeling like really angry or worried, right? Or overexcited. And so for some kids, this might be, Words like, oh, sorry about that, guys. Words that I've heard are like, you know, I start to get annoyed. Or I start to get a little angry, right? Or it feels like I'm starting to notice. This. So these might be small situations, right? These might be situations where, you know, things are starting to annoy you or one little thing happens and then it gets into a bigger problem, which can make it into the red. But this way we can think about all the different feelings that we feel. It's a really, really awesome way. And so you can do a couple of things, right? So what I said earlier, and then we're gonna wrap up. What I said earlier, you can hang this on the fridge, you can add to it, you can keep it in your room. I know a lot of kids that like to keep it in their bedside table or something like that. Or you can cut it out and you can put a paper clip on it and you can do your gauge throughout the day. Sometimes I think it's cool to have everybody in your family make one or everybody in your family to check in about how things are going. But ultimately it's up to you. And hopefully this is a helpful thing to help you learn more about the gizmo and get really excited about my gear. Talk to you guys soon.